Hello, my dear students. Welcome back once again after a long time. So today we are going to look into a specimen question paper of uh, geography ICSC 2023 examination. So the question paper is divided into two parts, part one and part two. So part one is of 30 marks in which in which uh, you will be uh, asked from three different parts like uh, first part is uh, from toposite. OK, toposite. And then uh, second part again is uh, the map work and then uh, the third one is uh, MCQ. So we'll start with the uh, deposit. So for 30 marks, 10, 10 marks each. So let us go through it. So <clears throat> you might have gone through this uh, question, uh, specimen question paper released by the CISC. So let us go through it with uh, number one, question number one, part one. So if you find this video helpful, please do share among your friends as well. And uh, and please do comment in the comment box so that uh, uh, if you require more specimen paper solutions, then I'll come forward with it. So the first part uh, is of 30 marks. Attempt all questions from this part. So study the extract of survey of India map sheet number, which will be provided, which is already provided, and answer the following questions. So you can see here, answer already. I have done it over here. Give the four figure grid reference of the settlement where Ayurvedic hospital is found. So you have to check it as uh, you have to go through the opposite and find out. So four grid reference for Ayurvedic hospital is 6634. OK, then next one name two main made features in grid square 6429. The two main made feature in 6429 wall and NH 168. Then number two A, what is the pattern of drainage seen in grid square 6729? If you check uh, your topo sheet, you'll find it. Uh, it you will find it. <clears throat> uh, grid square 6729 is radial. Then the B, what is the pattern of settlement seen in grid square 6934? So you'll find out linear. Settlement pattern in grid square 6934 is linear. Okay. Then number three. Uh, calculate the shortest distance in kilometers between settlement Udwaria 6934 and Sanwaria 6636. So you can go through this. So you can see this. I'll highlight it. This is the one the calculation. You can do it. You can do the calculation yourself also. If you need any sort of uh, help from this, you can copy this. You can take the screenshot. The next one, what advantages does representative fraction have over statement scale? So it is given over here. The statement of scale expresses the relationship of map to the ground in words, while the representative fraction RF is the ratio between the distance on the map to the distance on the corresponding ground and is in fraction. The numerator denotes the length on the map and the denominator denotes the actual distance on ground. Example, one is to 50,000. Then representative fraction also referred as RF equal to distance on map distance of the ground one of the major advantage of using rf scale is that it allows you to directly compare the sizes of objects between different maps because the earlier one elements the use of specific units such as inches feet miles etc there are no complicated version needed then what do you mean by the following three are in grid square 6933 you have to check it in the opposite and what you find it 3R is the relative height of embankment and is equivalent to 3 meter. The next B, 0.437 is grid square 6729. So what it is, is the spot height of a particular place. Okay, so this is all about for 10 marks. 5 twos are 10 from opposite. Now questions uh, related to map, you can do it. I have not done it. You can easily do it. You have to level outline map of India. You have to draw and label the Tropic of Cancer, shade and label. So this all you can do it. So I have uh, not done this one. OK. Now let us move on to. Uh, <clears throat> let us move on to let me make it more OK. Let us move move on to question number three. Choose the correct option. OK, so we'll do the MCQ now. Choose the correct option. Dash is a hot and dry local wind that blow in North India during pre monsoon period. So uh, option A, B, C, D. So out of this, which one is the correct answer? So the correct option is Lou B. OK, B is the B is the correct option. OK, B is the correct option. Lou is the correct option. Now next one is gully erosion is common in the in the Chambal Basin, Ganga Basin, Rajasthan, Hilly region. So the correct option is 
Sambal Basin. Okay, so this one is the correct answer. Now number three, dash and dash crops are associated with laterite soil. So which one is the correct one? Wheat rice, sugarcane rice, maize bajra, tea and coffee. So which one is the correct one? The correct option is tea and coffee. Tea and coffee. The number four, which are the most widespread forests of India? Which are the widespread forests of India? The correct answer is C, tropical deciduous forest. Okay, this one is the correct answer. Now, next one, number five, Das is the oldest coal field of India. Which one is the oldest coal field of India? Ranigan, Jharia, Bokaro, Karanpura. So the correct answer is Rani Ganj. The correct option is Rani Ganj. Okay, the next one, cultivation of crops. Cultivation of crops and raising of animal is a feature of intensive farming, plantation farming, mixed farming, and commercial farming. The correct option is uh, mixed uh, farming. Okay, then number seven, industries are also known as household industry. Dash industries are also known as uh, household industry. The correct answer is, uh, which one will be the correct answer? Cottage industry. Okay, correct answer will be cottage industry. Number eight, Rurkila steel plant was built with the cooperation of. Okay, Rurkila steel plant was built with the cooperation of which country? USSR, Germany, Japan, France. The correct answer is Germany. Okay, now let us move on to number nine. Number nine, transport. A dash transport supplements the mode of a, mode of a transport. Which one is the correct option? Airways, railways, roadways, waterways, railways. And the correct option is roadways. Roadways is the correct option. Okay. Now next one. Cheapest method of disposal of waste. Dumping, compositing, segregation, cycling. And the correct answer is dumping. Okay. So this is all about uh, uh, MCQ. So 30 marks, we have already done it. So now in part two, uh, you, two you have to attempt the five questions. Attempt any five questions from this uh, part. Okay, attempt any five questions from this part. So question number four, name the type of climate experienced by India. The answer is tropical monsoon climate. So I've already done it, okay? So this will save our time. Mention two factors responsible for it. So two factors. Number one, India has tropical monsoon climate as it is tropical country. Second one, due to strong influence of monsoon winds, India receives rainfall. Otherwise, it would have only dry climate instead of having dry and moist weather during rainy season. Now, next one, with the help of a suitable example, explain how relief features affect the rainfall of a place. So answer is here. Goa, example you have to mention it. Okay, so Goa is located on the westward side of Western Ghat. So Arabian Sea branch of southwest monsoon. Okay, bring heavier rainfall, but Puducherry is located on eastern coast and therefore receive lighter rainfall from northeast monsoon. And second example, Rajasthan receives less rainfall, that is less than 50 centimeter rainfall, as the Arabili range work as a barrier to the southwest monsoon. Okay. Give a geographical reason for each of the following. Annual range of temperature is higher in Delhi than Mumbai. Why? You have to give the reason. Delhi is situated in the interior part of country, far away from the influence of sea, while Mumbai is a coastal city and is influenced by sea. Thus, Delhi has a higher annual range of temperature than Mumbai. Mango so, so, sows, sorry, mango sours are beneficial local winds. So mango, okay, sorry, mango sores are beneficial local wind. So I think I made a mistake. Okay, whatever it is. The answer is mango sores or cherry blossoms are the local winds which blow in Kerala during summer. This wind help in the growth of mango, coffee, and tea. Mango sores are beneficial local winds. That is correct. Now, next one, the northeast monsoon bring almost no rain to the most part of India. Why? The northeast monsoon winds prevail over the country during the winter season and blow from land to sea. Thus, they do not carry any moisture to precipitate over most parts of India. However, when part of this wind blow over the Bay of Bengal, they pick up moisture, moisture there and strike the eastern guards, thereby setting heavy rainfall along the coastal lines. Okay. 
So this one you have to study the climatic data and answer the following questions. I think you have already done it. So I have done the calculation. OK, calculate the annual range of temperature. So I've given it over here as per the given data. Annual range of temperature can be calculated to be this is 30.40 degrees Celsius minus 23.8 degrees Celsius equal to 6.6 .6 degrees Celsius. What is the total rainfall during the monsoon season? So total rainfall 180.5 centimeter. On what coast is the situation station located? Give reason. The station is located in the western coast of India because as per the given data, there was almost negligible or absolutely no rainfall received during the winter months. Number five, differentiate between alluvial and laterite soil. You can take the same screenshot I have mentioned over here. Two points I have mentioned. That is enough. OK, L alluvial soil. Transported soil by the deposition of silt and sediments brought down by river, whereas uh, laterite soil formed in situ as a result of leaching under typical monsoon condition. OK, uh, alluvial soil is suitable for the growth of large variety of kharif and rabi crops with such as cereal, cotton, oil seeds and sugarcane, whereas laterite soil is unsuitable for agriculture due to high content of acidity and inability to retain moisture. OK, so example. You can see for alluvial soil, oil seed and sugar cane, cereals, cotton, and laterite soil examples, cashew and topico grow well on it. Name the following. Name the following. This soil is sticky when wet and cracks when dry. Black cotton soil. The soil is mainly used for making bricks, laterite soil. The soil is classified into khadar and bangar, alluvial soil. Uh, when heavy rainfall washes away the topmost layer of the soil, slip erosion. Now, next number three, give geographical region for the following. Black soil is residual soil. OK, residual soils are formed in situ that is formed where they are found in their original position by the breaking up of a parent rock. Example, black soil, red soil, lettered soil. Black soil is formed in situ by the weathering of volcanic rocks or igneous rocks, hence are also known as residual soil. Red soils are generally infertile. Red soil is acidic in nature due to deficiency of lime, nitrogen, <clears throat> phosphorus and humus in the soil. The next one, alluvial soil differs in texture. So why it is so? Alluvial soil is coarse in the upper valley of the rivers because of the eroded matter is carried away by the fast flowing river. But in the lower course, the river reduces its speed and the soil particles become finer due to attrition or because of load itself gets eroded. What is soil conservation? Mention two measures taken to conserve soil. So it is mentioned over here. OK, soil conservation is effort made by man to prevent soil loss from erosion or reduce fertility caused by overuses. What are the measures? Restricted grazing of animals, construction of dams. This is the only way we can conserve soil. The next mention in two characteristics, a tropical evergreen forest. The two characteristics are they are dense and heavy. Trees reach at the height of 60 meter or above. In books, you can go through it. Many more examples are there. Name the forest which is found in delta of the river Ganga. So mangroves are found in delta region of Ganga. Name two trees which are found here. So you can see most trees of mangrove forest are Sundari, Gurjan, Hintal, Kioria, uh, Rizoparia, Amur, Bhara, Khans. Okay, so any two you can mention. Sundari and Gurjan, you can mention it. Give geographical region for the following. OK, you can see yes, xerophytic plants, xerophytic uh, plants have long roots. You can see xerophytic plants have long roots because they are adopted to dry and hot climatic conditions of the tropical region so that they can fulfill their water needs from the deeper layer of the soil. Forests prevent floods. So how for uh, roots of the trees check the speed of running water, which does not overflow its bank and thus controls flood. Tropical deciduous forests are commercially most exploited. So answer is tropical deciduous forests are commercially most exploited kind of forest because they provide timber for making durable furniture, fruits and other valuable products. OK, give three reasons why we must conserve our forest. <coughs> we need to conserve our forest resources because they have favorable effect on climate or temperature and rain. They help in soil conservation. They help in uh, soil conservation. They act as a flood control measure. They serve as a habitat of wild animal. So three marks, three points you can mention it. Number seven, mention two conditions necessary for the conservation, sorry, construction of wells. The well 
irrigation is always method of irrigation. A well is a hole dug in the ground to obtain the underground water. It is generally carried out in places where soil is soft and easy to dug. We have to define for two marks surface water, ground water. What is the definition of surface water? Water, what is available on land in the form of river, uh, ground water, underground water that seeps into soil, okay, and is located lar in large aquifers under the ground. Mention two one advantage of canals and two advantages of tanks. So, one advantage of uh, uh, tank is sorry, canal is. Canals carry a lot of sediments brought down by rivers, which get deposited in agricultural field and add to the fertility of soil. And the two disadvantages of tanks, you can see in the absence of rainwater during dry season, the tanks become dry and fail to provide water for irrigation. B, due to deposition of sediment, the tank gets silted up soon and desilting is necessary for maintaining the storage capacity of tanks. Mention three ways by which you as an individual can reuse the conservation water. So following are the ways through which we can conserve water and reuse it. Number one, rainwater harvesting, rainwater harvesting, water shed management, surface runoff harvesting, rooftop rainwater harvesting. Number eight, question number eight, mention one advantage and one disadvantage coal found in India. So main advantage of coal are it is source of direct heat and energy for domestic purpose. And uh, <clears throat> the main disadvantage of coal in India are Coal releases carbon dioxide, which affect the environment, leading to greenhouse gas emission and global warming. So one one advantage and one disadvantage is enough. Name two states where copper is found in India. Mention one use of it. The major copper mines are in Khetri in Rajasthan, Singhum in Bihar, Malikjan uh, Malikjan Kand. Okay, in Madhya Pradesh, beside this Guntur in Andhra Pradesh, Nagpur in Maharashtra also have this mine. So use. Mention one use, so I mentioned two, you can write down any one. Since copper is good conductor of electricity, it is used for making electric wires. It is also used in automobiles and in defense industries. Mention one, uh, two, dis two advantages of using natural gas over petroleum. So two advantages, it can be stored safely. It is cheaper and cleaner than petrol or diesel. Name any areas where natural gas is found. So these are the yes. Region which has a natural gas deposit, Mumbai High, Assam, Rajasthan, Tamil Nadu, Tripura. What are the advantages of using biogas? The advantages of using biogas, you can see here, many points I mentioned, any three you can mention. Biogas is cheap and clean source of energy. It is not non-polluting and does not produce greenhouse. And third one, it is a renewable source of energy. Mentioned in two problems faced by Indian farmers. The lack of agriculture in India, problems, okay, see here. Lack of adequate irrigation facilities, land holdings are uneconomic due to their small size and such the yield are low. Differentiate between intensive farming and extensive farming. First of all, what is intensive farming? I pension, then extensive farming. So two points is enough. Okay, so you can uh, write it from here. Also, you can take the screenshot of uh, the intensive and extensive farming. Okay, intensive farming is a system of farming that involves higher input of labor, increased use of fertilizer, pesticide, high quality of seeds, etc. Extensive farming requires less labor in large areas of land. Okay. And uh, intensive farming is practiced in regions where the density of population is high, whereas extensive farming per hectare production may be less, but the total output is very high in this type of farming. With reference to rice cultivation, answer the following. Name a state that produces the largest quantity of rice. So West Bengal, Tamil Nadu, Punjab, Uttar Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh, not eastern states of India. Mention any two geographical conditions necessary for its growth. Temperature should be above 25 degrees Celsius. Rainfall should be above 100 degrees. 100 centimeter soil should be deep fertile okay then what is the best method for its cultivation transplanting method is the best method for rice cultivation whereby seedlings or the tiny plants are first grown in nurseries and after four to five weeks when the saplings attain a height of 25 centimeter 30 centimeter they are transplanted to two prepared rice fields it is popular method because it gives higher yield Mention two reasons why sugarcane cultivation is gaining importance in the peninsular India. So you can see here, sugarcane yield per hectare is higher in south due to tropical climate of um, peninsular India and long crossing seasons about eight months. State one problem of sugarcane growers of Uttar Pradesh. Sugarcane is the annual crop, but the land available for sugarcane is less. Okay. The production cost of sugarcane India is highest in the world. Okay, so you can uh, refer your book even. Explain the term ancillary industry and public sector industry. So ancillary industries provide spare parts or component required by large industries. Okay, 
Public sector industries are owned and managed by central government or state government of the country. OK, so you can see here examples like telegraph, railways, oil refineries, refineries, heavy engineering industry, defense establishments. Mention two problem faced by the cotton textile industries. Long staple cotton is not adequately grown in India and thus there is a shortage of it. And the second uh, problem faced is many factories are old, obsolete and sick industrial units and thus face low productivity. From where Tata still gets its supply of coal, iron ore and water supply from? OK, you can see coal <clears throat> supply they get it from Jaria and Bokaro. Iron, iron ore from uh, Goru Masi honey mines. OK. That is in uh, Mayur Banj district of Odisha and uh, Nomandi mines in Singhabhum district of Jharkhand. Karakhai and Subarna are the two perennial rivers that supply water throughout the year. What is the significance of electro electronic industry for education, entertainment, research? So you can see here education. Electronic industry engages uh, and challenges students with uh, innovative and interactive methods. OK, entertainment electronics are used in televisions and video players, computers and LCD projectors. Research Indian electronic industry plays an important role in space technology, defense and other such fields. Research by launching many indigenous satellites like Apple and Inset 1 and Inset 2. Question number 11, what is the golden quadrilateral? Mentioned to economic benefits. So it is mentioned it is the largest super highway project in India. It connects India four biggest metropolitan cities, Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata, Chennai by six lane super highways. And the main economic benefit of these projects are providing fast and smooth movement, developing industries and creating jobs. How is good transport network important for India? Any two points uh, uh, important transportation facilitates access to natural resources. It links the backward backward areas to the urban cities. Mention two advantages of railways and one advantage is disadvantage airways. So advantage of uh, railways. Railways help in easy movement of people and bulky goods from one place to another. So one one advantage is OK. And next one disadvantage air transport is expensive. It connects only major cities. Name the terminal stations of East West Corridor. The East West Corridor connects Silchar in Assam to Parbandar in Gujarat. Who looks after the construction and maintenance of the following national highway? National highways are main road constructed and maintained by central government. Border road uh, organization looks after construction and maintenance of India's border roads and develop infrastructure in remote areas of north and northeast states of the country. And the last question, question number 12. Give two reasons why we need to manage our waste. Waste management is needed because improperly stored waste can cause health, safety and economic problems. OK, transmission of diseases due to accumulation of waste is a major threat to people and environment. Mention one advantage of sanitary landfill and one disadvantage of compositing. So the first advantage of uh, sanitary landfill, the waste products of landfill can be used as direct fuel for combustion and the location of waste dip, uh, de deposition in the landfill is monitored. Second one, one advantage is enough disadvantage of composition. Co uh, Cost for site preparation and equipment and lengthy treatment method. Give reason for the following. We should avoid using plastics. Why? Why should we avoid it? Because they are non biodegradable. Radioactive waste are hazardous. Why? Because nuclear waste or hazardous hazardous as it can remain radioactive for thousands of years. If it is not disposed of properly, it continues to be hazardous. Open dumping is not an environment friendly method of managing waste because because waste material which are dumped in open pit become the breeding ground for mosquitoes, flies, insects, etc. How will you as an individual reduce the reuse of waste at home? So you can write as per your ideas. OK, what will you do in order to reuse the waste at home? So what I have written, uh, each individual should take the following steps for reduction and reuse of waste. For example, should use eco-friendly product, uh, instead of CFCS, chemical derived from peaches and plums can be used to clean the computers, chips and uh, circuit boards. Should save electricity by switching off as and when not required. So this is all about from the specimen question paper for geography 2023 completely solved. So if you find this uh, uh, video uh, helpful, please do comment and please share it so that I'll be very happy with your support. Thank you very much for watching. Please take care, stay safe, bye-bye, and all the best for your board exam.